small mouth. That's the main fish in here. That's the song that warned you that this way up. Yeah, it is. Dangerous. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to. Wow. Wow. Welcome back to the South, guys. Episode two on the uh, what we might call the Southern tour here, pops. Man, is this not look amazing? Look at this, guys. So we, we're we're at this brand new spot. I've never been here before, and um, we're coming up this. This is what would you call? It? Is this a river or lake? It's, Reser um, yeah, lake? It is. A, it's actually the river between two dams. I've read about it. It stays. It's one of the most constant levels of any lake in the south they don't they don't vary it very much so oh interesting yeah huh cool so today we are just fishing <laughs> all not it's just non-stop a day of non-stop fishing we do have the cook stuff on the boat with us as well but first we gotta just we're just gonna have fun fishing around we did not bring any uh any dinner with us we had planned on catching dinner first time fishing a brand new lake which is not a good strategy but uh we're maybe we're pretty confident i guess um i'm gonna start off with this red rattle trap this was just tied on from the last time i'm just gonna make it up as we go we have don't know what to expect here we heard there are a lot of good smallmouth in here though so all right guys we're using a drop shot rig with a little dry creek outfitter split tail grub i like how they i like how the action works on these things cast it up there on the rock there's like a rock that rolls right along here probably from that island down and just drag it off the rock we're in about 12 feet of water here all right guys we are headed we've fished a little ways here but uh we're headed to the next spot i'm gonna put on a big fat spinner yeah i say we just just start throwing though especially since it's four feet right here that's Pretty crazy how shallow it is in front of the dam. Oh, look at that, look at that. Right there. Ooh, feeding fish, feeding fish. Did it look like a trout? It did. Guys, we got feed trout. That's like the fourth one we've seen within 10 minutes. Got him, got him. You got one? Mm -hmm. while, I was, while I was going to the other side. Yep, yep, yep. Like kind of in the middle of the, or near the surface. I was just looking at Oh it's, oh, it's a big old trout. Bring him on over. Oh, oh. Yeah, if you can get, there you go. Yes, we got dinner. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know, I had just seen a, oh my gosh. on the surface that reminded me of a trout. Nice. Oh, man. Nice. Cool. That'll be a good one. All right, you little, you little monster. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh. He was hooked really good, guys. I already knocked him out. Nah, thank you for thank you for coming up for live well pops. All right. All right, first catch of the day. Ooh. And we have a little dinner. <laughs> yes. What do you want? That's whole line of trees. Um, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that crappie jig again. Guys, check this out. So we have here a whole bunch of oh thank you, pops. Just a whole bunch of laydowns. This is spot like number seven or eight. <laughs> Really? <laughs> no kidding. He's held up in there just as you'd expect. And he was only about a foot underneath the surface. Really? Jeez, oh, I missed him. Yeah. Yep, I got him. <laughs> oh, I think he's got me snagged. Uh -oh. Yeah, he's still on. There we go. Oh, no, no. He's okay. Let him get off. He's still on. Oh shoot! <laughs> I could feel him tapping me around. See that? He's still on. I just can't. He's still. He's wrapped. I'll come up with you here. That's good. That's good. Oh, there he goes. He came. Oh, some part of it came off. Part of it came out. Let me get the net. I can still feel it down there too. Oh, oh. I broke the net. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Oh, there he is. Nice. <laughs> there we go. I wonder if that, that looks over the same size. Yeah, as well. could be. Look at there. All right, Pops. <laughs> well, you told well, me about him. That's cool. There Pretty you go, little guys. bass. First bass of the day right there. Boy, we've been working hard. There you go. <laughs> right there. On, oh, a purple tube. Purple tubes. Oh, look at that. Dry Creek Outfitters. Here is the update. 
we came to this bar spot in the in the lake and check it out there are just minnows jumping all over again it is it is yards and yards of bait fish everywhere and every once in a while there'll be a spray of them uh, from fish chasing it and look the sun is going to start it's going to get lower in the sky. It's going to go down soon. And I'll bet there's just a feeding frenzy out here. And I think this is the area where the bass are at downstream. It is just amazing how many minnows there are on the surface. All right, folks, it is officially topwater time. My topwater of choice is this Whopper Plopper here. Oh, it's kind of fouled up. There we go. This rainbow trout Whopper Plopper right here going out. Um, I've caught some nice fish on this one. I don't know. I always reach for the rainbow trout colored one. And since there are a lot of stocked rainbows in here, it just seemed appropriate. Oh, that's crazy. You see this, Pops? You can actually see him underwater. Oh, oh my gosh. Something massive came up and, and just annihilated something on the surface pop it was a huge fish you know like something like 20 pounds kind of a thing like it had to be a striper oh, yep right there guys guys there's something massive pops oh my goodness there are huge fish around here feasting on all these minnows take the big one yeah you keep you pursue him and assume he's swimming somewhere out here <gasps> yep yep you see, oh my gosh you see this guys This is, this is, oh my gosh, this is crazy and cool and awful at the same time that we can't get these. Come on, come on, bite it, please, I'm begging you. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh! <gasps> oh my word, he said, we gotta get over here. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's more than one, isn't it? Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, there he goes! Oh shoot, he was there! He was there! Did you see it? He had it for just a split second. This is some exciting fishing. Oh, look at that thing. Just... Oh, I can't get over that far. You can. Oh, oh man. Look at oh. it. Maybe he'll circle back around my way. Oh, my goodness. That fish is eating. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Look at that feeding. Oh, look at him. Oh, come on. There she goes. Oh, God! Oh no, no, he missed it! Missed it! Did you see that? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Come on! Come on! Did you see? How did he miss that? That was a total annihilation! Oh, there he goes! Oh, he, got, oh, he was there! He was there! It was right under the water, Asa. My, my hook wasn't right, and I saw him come at it. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely jerkbait or something that'll go under a little bit. Uh, uh, it, it, the, the hook was around funny, so and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try this. Guys, yeah, I'm going to try switching up my strategy and throwing a big old jerk bait. I got him! You got him? I got him! Yep, I got one. Yes, finally, I got a fish, guys. I've got the net. Oh, yes. Yes, on a jerk bait. That's oh, what it took. Oh, baby. They were following the top water. But oh, took I'm getting the, the troll motor. Oh. Yeah, yeah, let him. I we're good. Silent. I hate my uh, yeah, I know. I don't like that either. That's all right. We're good. We're good. Oh, a jerk bait. Asa, nice job. Oh, my I'm, gosh. I'm dying to see what this is. Oh, come on. Oh, it's a big old striper, Asa. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Get it. Yes! <laughs> we got him! We yes, got you got him, him dude! Oh Look my gosh! Whoa! Woo! Oh, 
switch to a jerk. Son, okay. Welcome to the south, guys. Oh, yes. Wow, Welcome there is the nothing south. like this. There's nothing like this in Idaho. Oh, Look at that big dude. Oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, it's a Lucky Craft jerk bait, and I tried to do like a bone white one. Yeah. Guys, my first oh, ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> striper. Uh, 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 Actually, no, this is not my first ever. I caught a small striper when I was a little boy when we came and uh, visited uh, Tennessee. Is that right? So, yep. Oh so, my heavens, yeah, son. Let's, oh, let's weigh that up, you bet. 5.27 pounds. Ooh, nice. <laughs> An over five pound bass right there folks oh, yeah, this. yeah it's all it's oh, all messed up yeah. it's like he's blind on one side uh -huh. this was the jerk bait i switched to guys white lucky craft pointer 110 mr suspending it's funny guys because after we caught that fish we're looking around and there's not a ton more activity it's like it's almost gotten too dark or something yeah. like it you could catch one now that we figured out it's the jerk bait thing mm. yeah it's like it's really quieted down is that normal any striper fishermen out there is that is that normal once the sun drops below a certain point? my friends what what a catch first time ever filleting a striper I don't see why this is going to be any different than uh, filleting a bass a largemouth or smallmouth bass but you never know I am officially addicted to striper fishing and if these taste as good as they claim, I'll really like them. Oh, I've got a bee here, a cutter bee. A haul. Look at that beautiful fillet right there, guys. And finally, guys, we will do the trout as, hey, get out of here. Little cutter bees are starting to come around. They're starting to take, they've already taken a couple of chunks off of the uh, f filleted fish. Whoa, they're getting bolder and bolder. More and more of them are coming around now. You know, one came, took a chunk of fish, that's like the third or fourth one. Look at how pink that meat is right there, folks. That is going to be a delicious trout right there. All right, my friends. We are cooking our fish today on a grill. I don't grill a lot. However, in my research of how to cook striped bass, I kept seeing grill, uh, grill striped bass. Every other article is basically a grilling recipe. So I thought that must be the best way to have them. So I'm going to start with like some thicker fillets and we'll just put these straight on the barbecue. So I'm going to brush a little olive oil on these fillets. Then I'm going to use some of this amazing Johnny's seafood seasoning mix. Yes, we used it in a video recently, but it's so darn good. I want to use it again. We'll flip it over. And then I'm gonna put these fillets in the refrigerator right now and let them sit in the refrigerator 20 to 30 minutes because that's what they said was the best thing to do if you're sticking fish directly on a hot grill. You have really cold fish, boom, stick it on a hot searing grill. That's supposed to cook it better, I guess. I don't know, I'm no chef. The second way we're gonna prepare this fish, I have here some sliced jalapenos and an onion on a cutting board made by a subscriber, CJ, made in the Carolinas. Thank you, CJ, for sending this to me. He actually cut this board. He made it himself. Has a little clip there so I can attach it to my backpack. Let's cut up some onion here. This is a fishing channel first, and then cooking comes more just about the fishing, and I'm, an ext I'm a really good fisherman, extremely amateur cook. All right, so we have some nice jalapenos, some cut up onions. We'll set this off to the side. Roll out some aluminum foil. What is it, shiny, shiny side? Shiny side out, I think. And since we already know how trout tastes, I'm not gonna worry about cooking the trout right now. We're just gonna have 
the striped bass. And now we will season all of these chunks here by putting a little olive oil over them. Some of my first cast seasoning, link in the description below. Just like so. I'm gonna throw a few jalapenos in there to give it some kick. And then let that juice get around as well. And then a few onions. Now we simply fold it all up, make a nice little boat. Just kind of make a little, little fish boat. We don't want the juices to come spilling out. While the grill is heating, I just want to remind you guys I have the Ace Videos necklace for sale. It is made by a subscriber from Boise, Idaho. He converted his garage into his own mini jewelry making factory. He crafts every single one of these necklaces by hand. It's a great way to support my channel and you can support him. And he had a fantastic necklace. This feels great. It looks great. And if you're ever, you know, in a plane crash or something like that and you need a fish hook necklace for survival, you got one on you. They're made of real metal. Check them out in the description below. All right, the grill is plenty hot. Got a little fish boat right there. And then we'll take these chunks. Oh wait, you know what, you know what? I forgot something. Newbie grill master, uh, I'm not a grill master, I'm just a griller. You can paint, whoa, holy monkeys, what the? All right, uh, well, well, we'll just keep with that for now. All right. Add the fillets right there. I'm actually gonna keep this open. I was about to close the lid, but this fish is gonna cook really fast. I wanna keep an eye on it. Looks like the fish is about kind of halfway through. It's, it's white. Let's flip it over. Oh, yeah. Some light grill marks there. All right, when they start to split, one guy was saying they're ready. That one's not splitting, but this one is. Check in on the condition. Ooh. Ooh, you see how it's all boiling there? And you got those jalapenos. You know, it looks though, when I see, see there's just a slight bit of pink at the top there. I think this needs to be cooked just for a few, few seconds more. Heat wave. I think we're done. All right, Pops. Wow. Two types oh of, uh, not two types of fish, two different ways of cooking Ooh. them. All right, should we pray real quick? Let's do that. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, and thank you for the uh, the abundance and the variety of the lake. And uh, thank you that we get to enjoy it the way we do, and, uh, and now enjoy the, the fruit of it. Through Jesus I pray, amen. Amen. Man, now this. All works. right. I'm so, going to go for the grilled one, because we have grilled a, fish. Yeah, it's just straight, straight up. Straight up grilled, okay. On the, put on the grill. And it's all some seasoning. It's all the striped bass. Yes, sir. Okay. I have, We have trout all the time. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you think? So, first of all, let me take it apart. You, you, you grilled it. I love that little crunch outside. I that really crust. like that. Yeah, crust. Thank you. I really, mm, that's good. The meat, flaky. But meaty, I mean, it's kind of a good combo. It's, it's, it's that, yeah, it's kind of like really meaty, actually. I really like that fish. A mild fish, not mm -hmm. real fishy. No, nope. I'd it's give a, that a eight or nine. I mean, I don't nine. know what a 10 would be, but that, that's a I, good I think fish. so, too. It's eight or nine. Like, oh, I'm going to go step out. I'm going to say an eight for me. Mm -hmm. right, let's see what I've never cooked right. fish with, with jalapenos in, in the So I'm going to have a little out of the gravy area there, I think. Yeah, I poured some extra juices over it. Cheers. Bon appetit. The jalapeno. It's very fine. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's coming back at me now. Mm. Yeah. Wow. I love the flavor. It's a little strong. So in your opinion, which one was better? The the in the tin foil or straight up on the grill with the grill marks? Straight up on the grill with the crust. I can taste the fish and, and, and the just the fish. This here had a little too much going on for me. Okay. I wanted to taste the striper. Mm -hmm. That is good fish. I like them both, but I, I, I'm with you on that. Yeah. I like the grilled way better. There's a reason, guys, why almost every online article was like, grill it. Because it's a very like firm, very firm, no, meaty it fish. Is. It is good and it, it's great grilled. It's, it's kind of mm -hmm. like grilling a steak, actually. So. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it. We have a ton more cool Southern videos coming up. Thanks for hanging out. See you in the next one.